Hey guys, it's Kevin Madison. Uh, this is a video where I'm going to show you how to get some descriptive statistics in uh, Google Sheets and also uh, how to run a t-test and how to do a bar graph um, with error bars. So uh, this should be useful, I hope. Um, I didn't have a chance to get into the details of statistics and when, you know, some of the assumptions of doing a t-test and different things about one-tailed versus two-tailed t-tests and paired versus unpaired. Um, obviously, those are things you would want to understand, but you can look into that on your own. This is kind of just showing how to get um, to these functions within Google Sheets. And you can use other statistical programs, Excel, other things have this ability, um, but Google Sheets does seem to be available to pretty much everyone with an email account, so I thought it would be useful. All right, here we go. Okay, we have this data here on the number of publications per year for polar bears and on grizzly bears, and this was compiled using Google Scholar, uh, searching for Ursus arctos, the grizzly bear, and Ursus maritimus for the polar bear. And the first thing we want to do now is get some descriptive statistics on this. So we're going to do average, uh, minimum, maximum value, and standard deviation. And we can just do this by typing in equals and then average. Typing that you'll see here is average. You're going to highlight the data range, close out the bracket, and there's the average. Drag it over and we have now the average for uh, the grizzly bears as well as the polar bears. Let's do this for min. All right, so now we have that for the average, the minimum value, the maximum value, and the standard deviation. And now we want to do a t-test and um, just to see if these, if this data is significantly different for these two, uh, for, for polar bears and grizzly bears. And before even running this, I am uh, positive that it's going to be highly significant because the average is so different and the standard deviations for these two data sets are relatively small, are small relative to the average. So let's just run it though. So we're going to type equals t test. There's the formula there. It's going to ask for a number of things. Range one, which is our first data set. So I highlight that, hit the comma, hit the second range hit another comma. Now I ask if this is two tails or one tail. Um, there are other videos and that'll talk about two tails versus one tail, so I'm not going to go into it now, but I am going to choose two. And then it wants to know the type of uh, t-test we're going to use. This is not a paired t-test. It's a t-test on, um, well, I guess some might argue it is a paired t-test, but we're going to choose uh, three, which is a, an option for a unpaired t-test with unequal variance and we'll close that out hit enter and this is our p-value for this uh, t-test as you can see it's 0 0.0000035 and that is much less than 0 0.05 which is typically what's used so this means that the chance the probability that these two data sets are different just based on chance is very low and therefore this is highly significant. So now with that in mind, um, we're in a position to potentially want to visualize this data. And there's a way we can do that um, graphing. So I'm going to set this up and I'll be right back. All right, so what I've done here is I've just created this table with the average pups per year for polar bears and grizzly bears. And I copied it and pasted special so that I'm not copying the formulas from over here. Um, and then I also put in the standard deviation for each of those data sets because we're going to need that to create this bar graph. So um, I have that now. And actually, you would want to record these numbers separately because we're going to need them. So you want to write down 49 for polar bears as standard deviation and 186 for grizzly bears. Then you're going to highlight this data here. Go to data or insert, rather, and go to chart. 
you're going to want to scroll down and choose a column or bar chart. And you're going to also want to click this here that says switch rows and columns. And when you click that, you're going to see what it does is it puts polar bears and grizzly bears there. And this is showing the average value of publications per year. So now we can click here, customization, and change some things. I'm going to get rid of the chart title because when I insert this in my document, uh, I'm just going to give it a figure legend at the bottom. Uh, and then when we scroll down, for I want to label this uh, vertical axis. So I'm going to click left vertical, and I'm going to give it a title of average publications per year and now you can see it shows up there and when I go back to the horizontal axis uh, it's kind of confusing saying there's no title we do have something here so it's probably drawing on that but you can get rid of that because it's a little redundant um, by clicking here and then just saying none and now it's gone okay so now we have polar bears and grizzly bears and this bar graph is not complete without some sort of error bars to communicate to the reader the variation in this data set. So let's now scroll down and there's at the very bottom here, there's this option for error bars. So we're going to click constant and then we're going to go and add in what we had for polar bears. So for polar bears, it was 49. And for grizzly bears, it was 186. That's it. Now we have our chart, our bar graph with error bars. All right, so that's it. Um, you've seen how to make the bar graph with the error bars. And just, it's really important to show the mean, which is where the bar graph uh, column is, is located, but also the uh, error bars so that your reader really understands the variation in that data set. You could have the same mean and very different standard deviations. And so it just communicates a lot more. It's good to have that. It's good form to have that in your reports. Um, and then you would just copy this, uh, this chart into your paper and also report, write up the, uh, the means and the averages, the minimum, the maximum, so the range. Uh, for those two data sets, this, the t-test p-value you would report, and then you would show your figure, and you would be on your way to um, having some good results. All right. I hope this was useful, and take care.